Couldn't find out what's the reason. Why? Now that hoe back on my team, cause my neck wet like a squeegee. Why? We serve them packs in the net, we get them racks like Serena. Uh. Yeah, the sun out, so my boy's on a trap today. When you get money every day like Saturday. Niggas lying, yeah, he stuck with a cap and Niggas right and they get hit with the map today. This my, I don't even know what happened to Grandma in the kitchen, still singing happy day. I just popped the G6, I'm in my happy place. She was tripping, had the actual with I can make it. What's up, gang? It's your boy Kill. I am back with another video, man. And today, we got another reaction video, man. But this time, we're not going to be acting, reacting to no basketball or nothing like that. It's top 10 scariest insects that live in your nightmares. We're going to see, like, if, I don't know, man. I don't know. But if you see these insects out in the wild, like, like say you're walking to, to the store, so you see the thing, you better put the choppers on. You better get out of there. Get out of there. Not mess with these things. I'm out of there. But yeah, we're about to get into this video, man. What's up, Go. Top 10 fam? Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and welcome back to another video. Now, I legit think I'm allergic to insects. Like, I'm not even kidding. Every time I go not out and there kidding. are a lot of flies around me, like, my nose literally just starts getting really itchy and, like, cringy, and, like, my neck starts itching. And, like, like, no just, cap. Like, like when insects and, like, I bugs and it's around you, like, so I don't really know, you just don't feel right. All for my nightmares, so that's just, that's great. So hopefully I can get through this video without cringing the hell out. Out and getting a runny nose at the end of it. So anyway, let's just do this. These are so the top you? 10 scary insects that live in your nightmares. But they don't because they're all real. <laughs> Starting off with number 10 is the screw fly or its scientific name, Herminivorax, which happily what translates to man-eater. And they are. <laughs> Found mostly in the Western Hemisphere, there are actually two types of this bug: the Old That's World what? version and the New World That's version. Why? And clearly, they do not look scary. Leave down in the comments below if y'all think that's now, scary. Now, the adult screw fly will literally lay a hundred eggs on some warm-blooded animal with a wound. And unlike the Old World version, the New World ones lay six to eight batches of eggs into one wound. Usually, the adult oh. screw fly enter baby animals through their belly buttons, but only if they're newborn. They're just savage. No one, no one is safe. The eggs hatch and then go for the wound and use their fangs to cut through the skin and they'll keep going until they hit bone. They'll bite through your nerves, they'll enter the bloodstream, they don't give a flying <laughs> The more you try to get rid of it, the deeper it'll burrow into you, which is just magnificent. I just love it. It gets, just get better and better. Unless you get it treated, they will literally keep feeding on you until you die. Oh, no. Nah, I mess with no who talks of flies no more. If I see things in the house, straight grabbing a fly swatter. can easily cut through our skin and tissue as well, and there's no medication available for it other than maybe surgically removing the infestation or just 13 minutes. dying, Rudy. Coming in at number nine is the tarantula hawk wasp. Can you just can you just take in the name for a second? Oh, I've seen this bug before. Huh? I've seen Tarantulas live in as South Africa. Job. Measuring no. at a whopping South America. Five centimeters, it's one of the biggest wasps on the planet and is usually blue, black in color with wings and obviously hooked claws because screw us, right? Its stinger is nearly a full centimeter long and it's basically just a flying injection, you guys. Even a baby tarantula hawk wasp has a super demanding diet. They need spider meat. And so their mums try and go for the thickest spiders out there. And I'm talking thick with two C's, you guys. It's serious. They stroke their webs, making them think they've caught it's something. A fat and spider, yo. Out, get stung, get dragged back to the wasp's nest, and then the wasp will then inject her baby into its body, and the baby will eat it from the inside out. Thankfully, the adults only feed on nectar and berry juice and fruit, and only the females can sting. Apparently, as long as you don't provoke them and leave them alone, they won't sting you. Someone actually yeah, got this in a while, not playing no games. To see how bad it was, and he scored it a four out of four, saying it was traumatically painful like a running hair dryer was dropped into his bubble bath honestly i don't know how people do that like they put the insects right there and they get stung i couldn't i couldn't do that and like that pain just stay with you for the rest of the day like, who does stuff like that for a living no 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 i couldn't do that was me karate topping all the tarantula hawk wasps way just in case you didn't know what that was at number eight we have the assassin bug or the kissing bug and kiss it definitely does not unless you're talking about the kiss of death now oh my god just look Looks wise, this insect is ugly. I'm sorry, but it is. It has six legs, Ooh, it's it got a round side and two antennas, and is covered in just hairy fuzz. Not as much as a tarantula, but kind of the same vibe. And it also has this like snout sort of thing on its face, like a mosquito, you know, like a suck. 
sucker of some kind. The assassin bug uses its straw-like mouth to inject its prey with a toxin that literally liquefies their insides. And then it sucks up all those liquefied organs and just enjoys it shamelessly. They're mostly found in the south of the US and they definitely bite. They linger near their prey, mostly mammals, and yes, that unfortunately includes us as well. They like to oh, no. our mouth and eyes and that can cause us to have a lot of redness and swelling. And its feces can also spread a parasite that causes Chagas disease, which damages your major organs and could kill you. <laughs> It's crazy. That little itty bitty no. bug they don't hide kill me. Mattresses, so just stay away from there, and they're attracted to bright lights. So I've I've warned you guys. I've given you the info you need. Be smart. Stay away from them. How many times do I cry in this video? Let me know. <laughs> Filling our number seven slot is the post caterpillar, also known as a southern flannel moth. And if you just saw this out, you just think someone left their blonde toupee on the ground. It's just a hairy little thing which may look harmless, but it's actually one of the most venomous caterpillars out there. They're about an inch long and are covered in this fur fuzz that, according to Wikipedia, makes them look wow. like a Persian cat. They do not look like Persian cats from any angle. How they come in multiple colors and are mostly found in the east states of the u.s and when they're young their fur is a bit more curly mm. so i guess they're cuter and when they get older <laughs> their black furry feet come out raw and dog they ugly. Like bumblebee knockoffs now their class is so dangerous because this fur is actually made up of venomous spines that if touched leads to immediate skin irritation bumps swelling people that have touched them have described the pain as similar to blunt force trauma or a broken bone now if the reaction is severe it can lead to nausea chest pain, be difficulty breathing like it gets bad Ooh. oh my god there's a bug but the treatment is actually pretty funny within an hour of touching a puss caterpillar if you have any of its spines on you you can remove damn i just touching it and putting on your arm and just ripping it off diy remedies now at number six is the tetsu fly also known as tic tic flies these flies bite like a mofo and are mostly found in africa looks wise they're Shoot. usually brown or yellow africa got a lot of things over there look yo. like shorter stubbier mosquitoes and like mosquitoes they suck out your blood but in a much more brutal way than a mosquito the mouths have tiny serrations all over it that they use to saw into your skin but it's not just the sucking blood part that sucks about them pun intended didn't even realize they're pesky creatures because they transmit diseases really easily and the most common one being the sleeping sickness it starts sleeping off with a bit sickness. of a headache then a fever your muscles start to ache but as it gets worse you'll start getting more tired you'll experience a sudden personality change your coordination will become poor and you'll just be severely confused and if you leave it untreated it's fatal in terms of prey they usually target mammals found in the woodlands the females stick to animals but it's actually the males that usually attack humans and sadly despite being flies they're not as easy to kill as house flies are like why so why you can't hit so the hard? thing with they're a physically tough and it takes more than a fly swatter to end those hoes we're gonna need an army guys we're gonna need an army coming in at number five is the amazonian giant centipede oh. Oh, no, you see this right here? How many inches centimeters is that? Oh. They can grow up to 35 centimeters long. And if I saw this crawling on the ground, I wouldn't even try to kill it. I would nope. just vomit or cry. Or cry? Both. You bugging. I'm like out of there. You see that thing? Do you see that thing? If that thing come crawling next to your feet, I'm out of there. You can't tell me otherwise. That thing is killing a lizard, yo. Killing the lizard. Usually eats other smaller insects, no. like spiders, small reptiles like frogs or lizards, and at best, snakes and bats. Now, these centipedes sort of have conflicting personality traits. On the one hand, they're aggressive, and on the other hand, they're nervous. So what that translates to is the centipede latching onto its predator's legs and biting it and hoping its venom will subdue or kill it. Now, it's fatal to most small animals and thankfully non-lethal to humans. A win oh, for us, you oh. guys. Only one person Still not messing ever with died it. from an Still not messing with it. centipede bite, and they were four years old, so I feel like the fact they were small had a part to play in it. And although it may no. not kill you it still causes severe pain and swelling fever and just all around weakness and of course if you're allergic to its toxins then yeah you're gonna for sure sorry about that it's allergies tough. are a bummer at number four is the bullet ant now if you were to guess well, the insect has the most those. painful sting in the world and you guess the bullet ant well you'd be right these ants are mostly found in rainforests in nicaragua the 
east of Honduras and the south of Paraguay. They honestly look like regular ants. I couldn't really tell the difference at all except they're hairier. Now they're not aggressive ants per se, but they get super vicious when they're defending their nest. Like they actually make a sound and then start stinging you. Make now, a sound. Have compared the pain of a sting to Good thing I don't live over there. Good thing I don't live in a mirror. Of burning, throbbing pain that doesn't let up. Or do or whatever she said. Or whatever she said. If you get said. stung, it's likely you'll start finding blood in your poop. And the sting has blood a blood in my poop, bro. As well. So really, there's just nothing good going on. An ant can do all that. There's apparently even a tribe in Brazil that uses them in their initiation rites to become warriors. They sedate a straight up die. Filling under the three slot is the giant silkworm caterpillar, also known as the killer caterpillar. And I'm really worried that there are so many caterpillar centipede-like insects on this list because I thought most of them were harmless. Turns out they're most definitely not. Now this insect looks messed up and creepy. I'm not gonna lie. But it's just ugly. I'm sorry. It is ugly. Around four to five centimeters. Thing like a leaf on the ground. Green or brown. A confetti what leaf. Makes them creepy. A confetti all leaf. These two because they have coming out of them. They look like little leaves coming out of them, and they are detachable. In essence, the caterpillar is really just the larva of a giant silkworm moth, and it's their detachable hairs that make them super venomous. If you touch one or pick one up, the spine punches your skin really easily and releases its toxins into you. From there, it can cause. That's crazy how all these little itty bitty insects can kill you and damage you in any type of way, you know? Them, which is just That's great, wild. Great. It also causes gangrene, hematoma, and before long, hematoma. the bleeding spreads throughout your whole body, which leads to brain death and compression. A total of five so that people bug. died from if that thing touch you, you, you dead, gone. Hundred of these spines in right you will. Into you for you to actually die. So I guess the numbers are a bit on our side. And if you don't live in the area they're found in, then you're good. Like if you're all the way in like Australia, you're good. But they have spiders. Now, and number two is the Asian giant hornet. And if if you've watched my wasp nests that need to be destroyed series, then you've heard about these a million times. But oh my god, these little monsters are just lethal. Now they're the largest species of hornet in the world, and although they're found in Asia, said, they're mostly located in Japan. Here. And you know how with most animals and bugs, they won't really say anything to you unless you provoke them. Well, that's not the case here. They will literally come for you. They're very wow. aggressive. They're scared of literally nothing. They feed honeybees to their young, which means destroying whole hives in the Process, which they're just fine with. If we do the numbers, one Asian giant hornet can tear 40 honeybees in half in less than a minute. Less than a minute, you guys. That is very anxiety. There was a case where a swarm of hornets violent, attacked this 87 year things get that job done. They play no games. They want all the smoke. All the smoke. And then she died. Like the Japanese death toll from these hornets are 40 people a year. And back in 2013, they injured 1,600 people in China. The stings usually <sighs> result in cardiac arrest. But if they sting you enough times, your organs just start failing. And it's, it's, it's not a good time, I'd imagine. And finally, at number one is the Maricopa Harvester. Alright, uh, let's see what this thing can do. Like this is number one. An at number one. I, I thought it was going to be like some kind of spider or something. It's the most venomous insect in the world. It's mostly found in Arizona, so it's like a to Billy some goat. Arizona residents. I'm glad I'm not one of them. <laughs> its venom and sting is more than 20 times stronger than a honeybee's, and the intense pain <clears> after <throat> can last longer than four to eight hours. The one interesting thing about their venom is that it contains this alkaloid poison that chemically alarms just all the other animals around in the vicinity to come attack it takes wow so things sting you to kill a rat and it takes about whole high a whole a whole human, nest coming for your neck bones if they're coming at bones. you like an army they can get to that number pretty damn quickly and it's not even that 350 ants have to separately sting you an ant will attach itself to you then turn around so it can just repeatedly sting the shit out of you so really the possibility of like a mere 35 ants sting you 10 times each looks very viable. They're usually a brownish color and are covered in tiny little hair like follicles and those pincer mouths they have. Run for your life, people. Run for your lives. And that's it for today's list, guys. I don't know why I always end up with the insect related videos, the wasp nest series, and now this. But honestly, I'm not even mad at it because it makes me learn a bunch and now I just know which insects to stay away from at all costs. Let me know if you've ever encountered any of the ones on the list in real life and what happened, as I would love to know. As always, I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, we'll see you later. All right, but that's crazy, man. All these insects stay away from me, especially that centipede and that last ant. Yo, that little ant thing. Not going for it. And that centipede, I don't care if it's not. If you see that thing, that thing was eating a, eating a lizard, yo.
eating a lizard, I do not care. I'm putting that choppers on. And that, that fat little thick old horny, yo. Not mess with them honey bees, yo. That's wild. That's wild. But hey, man, if you enjoyed this video, full link to the video. If you want to watch it by yourself, it's in the description below, man. Follow all my social medias and yeah.